This is the second tower to be constructed on site with they already completing Tower 1 in 2013. Tower 2 is a mirror image of Tower 1 and the adjoining connectors on each floor. Tower 2 is part of the script's master plan for the campus. See, I don't have my A.O. Reed garb on right now. On this project, we've teamed up with our partner Murray Company out of LA. This joint venture that we've created with Murray, we're able to bring the resources of both companies to bear on this project with all of our experience, expertise, and personnel. We're fully integrated with our management and field staff. This project, Tower 2, is approximately 419,000 square feet. It's eight stories high in mirrors Tower 1. Um, with the connector creating one large facility, and they do look at this as one extremely large hospital, even though it's two separate towers, they'll have over 800,000 square feet of hospital space to serve the San Diego area. Still be adding chillers, there's an MRI going in in Tower 2. We have a fuel separation system up on the roof for the helicopter pad, and then all the more standard mechanical items like air handlers on 2M, over 900 VAVs throughout the system. Example of how our hangers come out to the project. They're all tagged, numbered, labeled, in our rolling carts so we can move them around the job site as needed for the areas in which they go. You can see we pre-lay out all of our openings in the walls so that the framers and drywallers, when they come through, can put the penetrations in the wall for us so we don't waste any time when we get here for our install. Of Tower 2 right now, this is the mechanical room. It's, it's the hub of the mechanical systems on the wet side for this building. We have our, our services coming in from, from the previously installed vaults that we did during Tower 1. We have chilled water supply, chilled water return. We have steam coming in over there. We have high pressure steam and then we bring all those into the mechanical room here and then distribute it throughout the building. Um, as you can see here, this is an example of our waste and vent system for our sanitary. We have sinks connecting here to these, these arm outs from the wall, and then the vent system comes up, ties into a larger vent system. Over here, we have sanitary sewer coming down from the floor above, and at this time, down here in the lower level, Right now, it's, it's mainly our cast iron that's gone first, and that's pretty much what you'll see. There's a little bit of steam over here that's insulated, and some gas pipe on the other side, but we're just getting into it down here. We've got a long ways to go. Level one is our emergency room department, and we have an emergency room entrance over here under a canopy that's yet to be built and then all the associated infrastructure for the emergency rooms, including an MRI that will be coming. Floors, we will have our VAVs to distribute and control the air. We will have some negative and positive pressure rooms for ISO rooms and things like that. We'll have domestic cold and hot water, of course, soft cold water, and steam is our vehicle for heating in this building so we'll have a full complement of plumbing and mechanical systems on this floor as with every floor um, in the hospital. Okay so here we are on level 2M. 2M is a combination of mechanical rooms for our air handlers and other mechanical systems and the NICU. It also is the first level in which you'll see the roof, the footprint of the building changes a little bit as we marry up to the same footprint as Tower 1. And this is also the first floor where we have a connector that'll be bringing the two hospitals together through this path right here.
this is, we're on level four now. Level four is the first of the typical patient rooms. From four to seven, a little bit on eight, it'll just repeat and we'll have a, a lot of typical patient rooms for the balance of the building. So, as you can see, this is where we'll be having a lot of our mechanical systems, um, air handlers, a lot of the exhaust fans that push up air up out of the building. They'll be located up here. Above us is the roof, and above that will be the helicopter pad. This project, when complete, will serve the greater San Diego area with an emergency room, trauma station, and a full complement of the hospital facilities to serve the community. So Scripps is really looking forward to being able to handle the extra capacity and, and serve the community in a way that's beneficial to everybody involved.